uh, antenna patterns, you see a lot of those. And uh, a lot of people don't really understand quite what antenna patterns are. They think they're somehow a plot that uh, you, it's a plot of some field strength over uh, uh, land or something. You superimpose one over a map. And that's not what they are at all. It's just a, it's a polar plot of field strength. And the way I have people imagine it is imagine that you have a helper that goes out a long distance from the antenna and uh, with the field strength meter and uh, measure, records the field strength when he's due, due north of you. And then he walks around a few degrees and records the field strength there and walks around a few more degrees. He's staying the same distance away from the antenna all the time. And uh, he's going around and each angle he records the field strength and he brings it back and then you plot it on a graph. And that's what the antenna plot is. It's the uh, relative field strength at various angles at the same distance from the antenna. And the distance from the line from the center is just the field strength in that direction. And here's an example here, a vertical dipole uh, in free space. And uh, here we have shown at an elevation angle of 39 degrees, we have a minus 0.85 dBi gain. Uh, the outer ring is at uh, 2.15 dBi. And uh, you can take a look at the graph and immediately see how strong the signal is in these various directions. In this case, the vertical directions. If you're uh, designing an antenna, you want to, uh, well, I, I've got a, a friend who I have a weekly schedule with who's in California, Northern California. And it turns out that uh, the um, F layer, when I do F layer skip, which is most common on the lower frequency bands, the uh, angle that I need to radiate at is about 30 degrees above the horizon. So I've taken and tried to optimize all of my antennas for the maximum radiation at that elevation angle over ground. And this is uh, what these programs will help you do. Now, take a look at these uh, various antenna patterns right here and say you wanted to uh, uh, maximize your signal uh, and your, um, your ability to communicate in one particular direction, which would you prefer? Which of these uh, three patterns? And there again, uh, it would be great to have a vote, but uh, um, I, almost everybody tends to choose that one, of course, because it looks more directional and you'd think it would have a higher gain. And the fact of the matter is that all three of these patterns are identical. They are from the same antenna and they are actually identical patterns, but the scale is different on here. Here we go on the upper right one, we've got a linear scale 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.81. Uh, here we have, uh, down here on the lower left, we have uh, the same number of dB per unit, 0 minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 minus 40. And over here we have the so-called ARL plot, uh, which is very common where, where you have 0 dB here and 6 dB and, and then 20 and 30 and so forth. So it's actually nonlinear in two ways, nonlinear in decibels. And it's very common and it's quite useful because it does show uh, some of the subtle things uh, on the uh, the outer part of the, the pattern. You can see where you're down, say, 3 dB very clearly in here, and that's often of interest, and it's not so much of interest uh, when you're down between 20 and 30, you don't really care that much. So what the, uh, the caution here is to be very careful when you look at antenna patterns, especially those which are uh, produced by antenna manufacturers who do everything they can to make their antennas look attractive or more attractive than the other guy. Be careful of the pattern scales. Another thing that uh, a lot of people misunderstand is that antenna patterns are three-dimensional. Uh, it's, you have an antenna, they say an antenna has a gain of so many dB. I'll, I'll talk about that just a little bit more shortly. The fact is that the gain is different in every direction in three dimensions, and uh, it's a 3 dB plot. In this case, we have a, the vertical dipole, and in all azimuths, it's the same direction, uh, same gain, but uh, with every elevation angle, it's different. That's not true of all antennas, and most antennas in reality have uh, very uh, different gains in, in every direction. 